What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video where in this video we're going to be showing you how to make the best watering pot design and this is going to be a video for the people that are doing apartment gardening in the hot climate and for the people that uh, garden in small spaces. Now this is a very simple setup. We already have our naked mix and we're just going to show you tools and equipment that you're going to need to make this watering system. Now, we didn't come up with this design. This is basically uh, Gardening with Leon, his YouTube channel. He's very big into this. He does like uh, mineral tubs and things of that nature. He does some that high quality landscape fabric, uh, which I don't see our viewers particularly using this, if they, especially if you're in apartment gardening or a small space container gardening, things of that nature. So we're gonna kind of dumb it down and show you a simpler, easier way to do this. And then we'll do a follow-up when we have our garden tours to show you how the, uh, the plants is turning out. So with uh, gardening with Leon, he uses a six inch uh, perforated uh, tube. Now we looked at the big box stores and they come in a, a big, huge linear feet and it just doesn't seem cost effective. So we got these four inch perforated tubes and I think they were about 12 or 16 feet long, a lot cheaper. Uh, so what we did is we got the a regular old tub that we got, I think this was from Tractor Supply and we got the measurements. We're just gonna put these two directly into here. Uh, we're gonna drill a hole at the bottom from here to there, since we got a four inch tube, we're gonna go up three inches to give that air gap. Then we're gonna put this little, it's supposed to be a, a premium grade, commercial grade landscape. We're gonna uh, put this over the tubes to keep the dirt and the naked gardening mix to, from clogging up the tubes. So that way, once the roots gets, goes through the uh, landscape fabric and, and whatnot, the water that's gonna be in between here is gonna allow the roots of the plant to soak it up and that's how you get your self wicking system. Uh, then after we do that, we're gonna go about halfway, put some fertilizer on there. So once the roots hit that, they'll be able to have something to feed on there. And then we'll put our watering tube through here and they'll continue to cover up the rest with the soil and then we'll do some transplanting. sure it's directly in line with that hole there. Right there. Put your landscape fabric. Want to make sure you cover up the holes, the ends. So that way no dirt gets all up in there. Just like that. So when you put your watering tube, you want to cut it at an angle uh, for the simple fact, if you have it flat and you put water through here, the water is gonna have a hard time easing out of the bottom of it. But however, if you put it at a 45, more water is gonna be able to flow out through here. And you wanna put it at the side of the uh, drain hole right here. So we're just gonna slip this right in back of here. Just like that. And this is how sim somewhat you want your, your container to be. Now we're gonna fill it up. Right. 
And you're adding the fertilizer at this point, midway through filling it up because? Because once the roots get into this location, it's gonna have something to, to feed on. The plant's gonna have something to feed on. So we did. Now, uh, gardening with Leon, he uses a certain fertilizer, we'll put it, the links down below that he uses. It's a natural balance organic fertilizer. However, since we already have most of this material here, we're just gonna use this. We're gonna mix it in a little bit and then add the rest of the dirt. All right, so we have some okra plants. Now, okra is very drought tolerant, so uh, you don't have to use this at, for your wickering pot right here. However, since we kind of finding some spaces, if you saw one of our videos, we'll put the link above. We've been trying to find some places for this new space. These are the Alabama red okras that Mrs. Nick Gardner loved uh, last year. So we're gonna plant these out. And then we're gonna also do some other interplanting with the okras. Like we got some uh, onions and some flowers. All you have to do is you just water through here once you get it to a certain amount of uh, water in there it's going to start uh, draining out of here that's when you know you have overfilled it now most of this naked mix was already kind of moist however we will slightly just uh, dampen a little bit but most of it will be getting watered through here oh, it's starting now. okay there we go that's when you know that you need to stop. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just gonna do a slightly water over the top. How would one know that it's time to water again? I would just do it, uh, just water this once a week. Most plants need about an inch and a half of water each week. Now that all goes about how hot how humid and how much uh, soil your potting mix is able to drain. And we did a, a video a while back. We'll try to put the video up above, but we, where you just basically do a finger test. You just stick your finger in there till it gets to the knuckle. If it's uh, basically wet, 
then you know that you have enough water. Now, if it goes out dry, that's when you know you need to add more water uh, to your plant. But one thing I did forgot to mention, when you're doing anything growing in plastic, uh, you want to make sure you have the right code, uh, plastic code on there. This is a food grade of number two, which is very good. Uh, you don't definitely don't want to use anything like a seven and you don't want to try to use growing anything like a, I see a lot of people growing in tires. That's just, that just kills me when people, I see people doing that. Don't grow your food, edible food in tires. Now, if you have done a self-watering container before, comment down below and let us know your success on it. Now, if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. It really helps our channel out. And if you're new to the channel and would like to join our family, make sure you hit that subscribe button on your way out. Now, if you want to watch other videos that we did about apartment gardening, we'll put a playlist for you to watch. Until the next video, let's grow together.